Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on super simple smoky eyes. There was no uh, word for eyes that begins with S, so that broke my alliteration pattern. But anyway, um, yeah, I thought I'd just come back to it after I took a little hiatus because of the Black Panther thing, but I'm seeing it today, so you never know, there might be a Black Panther inspired video next week as well. Um, I just thought this was another thing that people kind of struggled with and wanted to make it really simple and easy for you guys. So let's get straight into it. I'm just gonna quickly run through my skin because I feel like I've done a lot of um, videos recently that have been about foundation or have had a lot of foundation focus. So I'll just tell you what I'm using. It is the uh, Matchmaster foundation in number eight, which I've fallen back in love with. And I'm just gonna take my Real Technique sponge and spray it with some Fix Plus. This foundation is quite buildable. You can kind of get, um, I'd say medium to full coverage from this one pump today and I don't want too much base. Right, I'm gonna do brows, the same as usual, just my Illamasqua brow gel first and brush up my brows. And whilst that sets, I'll do my concealer quickly. So I'm just using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer again in Armand. I'm just using a 224 blending brush from MAC just to work in the concealer. Okie doke. Spiked brow pencil again, and just filling in the gaps. And then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of my, I think I'm gonna use my foundation today actually as my brow cleanup. So it's just the um, Matchmaster foundation again. Yeah, it looks quite nice. So now I'm gonna do the smoky eye. Um, this product I actually really love. So when I used to work at MAC, oh, is it here? Is it here? Have I got it? No, I don't. When I used to work at MAC, they used to give us products to test and sometimes you'd be like a bit jaded and be like, oh, this isn't gonna work. But actually I tried this, it's called the 24 hour extended eye base, I think. Is that gonna focus? Yes. And um, I was working on a film last year I can't say what the film is yet, but when it comes out, I'll let you know. And um, we had to do like really intense smoky eyes on people. And this really helps with blending. But I will say when you use it, make sure you take it all the way, like put it on everywhere that you're gonna put shadow. If you stop it um, a little bit before, it won't blend very nicely. And you can see I'm taking it quite high. I'm not only putting it down here, I'm like taking it all the way across. So I was doing some research or thinking about this video and I thought, well, I don't really like what I'm seeing as really popular. Like it's really popular, but I don't like it. I'm bored of seeing like um, orange in the socket or warm ready browns in the socket and graphic liner on every single eye makeup look and lashes as well. And lashes are important. And like for some looks they completely make it, but I just feel like they're being like, it's just overkill at the moment. And people are wearing lashes to like go to Tesco's or Sainsbury's and I'm just like, well, this is really unrealistic. So um, I was looking at Oprah and one thing I love about her makeup is consistent. She always wears a smoky eye, like she's found her signature. But that being said, she never wears a black smoky eye. If you look really closely, it's always like a charcoal. And for me, that's like a much more expensive, luxurious take on a smoky eye. So I'm gonna show you how I would achieve that today with no lashes, no graphic liner, and no warm transition color in the crease. So I've done my eye prep first, and then I'm gonna use um, this Maybelline gel liner. It's called Last Eye Studio Lasting Drama. And I'm gonna pop on this black as my base. So I take this all the way up to my natural crease. And try and get it quite neat. I know some people say like it doesn't really matter, but I have found that it does matter. And the neater you get this part, the easier it is for you to do a smoky eye. So don't rush this bit. Get that on really nice and smooth first. And then fill in the rest of your lid and blend it in. I think it's always really important to have a clean brush with nothing on that you just use to work the edges. Like every time you put something on, so I'm gonna leave that over there. So 
so I don't make the mistake and use it where I don't need it. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And I'll go back with my clean brush. Make sure you get really close to the lash line as well. You want the black to go all the way from the bottom of your lash line down here and then blend up really softly. Oh, I forgot to mention brushes. I am using a 239 to put on the black gel first and then I'm blending it with a 217 and then I'm tidying up with a 224. So they're these three brushes, let me show you. Put it on with this one, blend it with this one, and then clean up the edges with this one. It's a slightly fluffier brush. Just going to clean it up a little bit here as well. Then I'm going to take that same flat brush and just run it underneath the lash line as well. And then get a little pencil brush and then just blend out the edges. Okay, and then I'm going to get a little cold pencil and just work that on the waterline. So now I'm going to go into eyeshadow. I'm using print eyeshadow from MAC, which is a grey colour. I just feel like people don't really use mattes and mattes are pretty too. So I'm going back in with my 217 which was the smaller of the blending brushes. I'm just packing that on the lid first and this time I'm not going to put any shadow on this I'm just going to use what's on my eyelid and blend it up. Fluffy brushes are definitely your friend when you're doing a smoky eye, they do the work for you. If you use flat brushes or firm brushes to blend shadow it they grab too much where you first put them on and then you can never get it to look really soft. So I would always, always use a fluffy brush. So I just wanted to show you a little trick, how you can blend your eyeshadow without using a worn transition color. So I'm gonna take my Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark and I'm just gonna use that to gently blur the edges of this eyeshadow. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, print eyeshadow, but I'm using a Louise Young LY14 pencil brush. It's quite soft and fluffy, and I'm just blending that down underneath here. So for mascara, I'm going to do the usual um, extended play on my tops and bottoms. And then today I'm going to use a different mascara. I'm using my Max Factor Masterpiece. This is another one that I really like. Um, I don't think it's my favourite. I don't think I like it as much as the MAC in Extremes I mentioned, but it's a really, really close runner-up. And then I'm going to put on some more concealer because I want my dark smoky eye to look really intense. So this is another way that you can make it like pump up a little bit more. Where's my concealer? I'm not going to make that mistake again, I'm just going to take a new one and just blend my concealer here. So I'm using it to lift the outer corner of my eye. And then just go in with a really dark bit here. And pat that in. And then I like to finish off with my beauty blender and just make sure it's really worked into the foundation as well. Today I'm not going to put any foundation on my forehead because I don't want it to look too made up. Like a smoky eye can be quite intense. So for me, I like to leave like traces of bare skin and I don't make my eyebrows, my eyebrows are never dark, but I make sure that they're not really overly drawn in or really heavy so that all the focus is on the eyes and everything else is just kind of supporting and complementing it. 
Then I'm gonna go back to my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and just use that to set everything. Oh, I might do a bit of contour as well, actually, just to accentuate my cheekbones a little bit more. And I'm going to take a Real Techniques, what is this called? Oh, Duo Fiber Contour Brush. For once, I'm using a brush where it's supposed to be used. And just use that to blend that in. I'm going to do the same for my forehead. Five head, six head, seven head, eight head, nine head, ten head. There's, there's a lot of forehead going on here. And just blend that in. And then I'm gonna do my lipstick. So I don't wanna do a predictable lip either. I'm going to do something a bit more on the cool side as opposed to just doing like a peachy nude brown because that would be too simple and too easy to do. So I'm just gonna take off some of my lip balm. And I'm going to mix two lipsticks together. So I'm gonna start off with Stone, which is a like gray brown lipstick from MAC. I do love this lipstick. Some people will hate it though, but I love it. And a little bit of myrrh. These are both MAC lipsticks. And just to line my lips, I'm gonna use Coffee Eye Pencil again. You have to be careful with this because it's quite a dark um, eye pencil. So if you're too heavy handed, it can just look like yeah, a really bad ombre lip. And then for blush, surprise, surprise, I'm gonna use lipstick again. So I'm gonna use Myrrh on my lips too, on my cheeks too. And then I'm just gonna use three fingers like this and just pat it in and blend it all away. A bit more. I love the sheen that lipstick gives when you use it on the cheeks. It's like highlighter, but not highlighter. It's just, I don't know, there's just something really pretty about the glossiness of a lipstick on the cheek. So one of, it is one of my favorite things to do. So there you have it guys, that's the final look for today. Um, I can't remember what I, what, was it simple, smoky, sultry eye, or sim simple, sultry, smoky eye? I don't know, one of those two. Is that one? Anyway. Guess who woke up from their nap? Amazing! Still, I think he's still a little bit sleepy. Oh, that's a nice hug. Thank you. Doggy hug! Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> So guys, that's the end of today's video. I just wanted to show that you don't always have to have a worn transition color, um, lashes or a graphic liner to create a really beautiful smoky eye. I wanted to offer an alternative and show that you can use cool tones and they're just as pretty too. Um, please comment, I love reading what you guys think about my videos, it's actually quite helpful, makes me think, like gives me ideas of what I need to do. And um, don't forget to like, comment, I said the comment already. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on my next one, bye.